Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Icewind Dale. All right, let's uh, go ahead and leave the inn and uh, face uh, some of Kieran's old uh, friends. Hello. Uh, what kind of information do you seek? Uh, who is this colleague you seek? I know of no mages in Lonelywood. Their line, blah, 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 blah. I'd sooner strike a deal with the Pit Fiend. Go ahead and uh, bring in your your friends. Okay, okay, so... Uh, Stone Skin is on uh, Varglin. Minor Globe of Invulnerability and Shielded. So, I... I do want to start with that. Uh, before you do much of anything, I think it would be best to magic missile him. You go with that. What do I have? Bolt of Glory on the Priestess of Shar? Give anything. Smite evil. 1d6 plus 1d6. Well, I'm not sure if his. Uh, if. how Globe of Invulnerability is gonna work on that, so let's go after him. Next up, magic missile on you up here. Alright, we did some damage to them. Priestess of Shar got a uh, casting failure. 20 magic damage from Elmandretta. Death, excellent. One down. You are singing, that's good. You're casting that. Uh, Varglin casts Snillock's Snowball Swarm. Just one damage. How, how do you do one damage from magic missile? It's one d four plus one. Okay, that's fine. Mercenary warrior near death. Excellent. You are attacking him. That's good. Did I just forget to cast Stone Skin on her? No, I did not. They must have removed it. Okay. Or it already got removed. Need me? Is anyone actually uh, attacking her? No, it doesn't look like it. Um... Actually... Where exactly are you? Are you right next to... Yeah, alright. Let's start with a uh, Lay on Hands. Go. 13 electricity damage. Oh, ow. Okay. Um. Done. Heal on her. Okay, he's down. Oops. Okay, he's dead. I see. Keep leading the uh, the thief around a bit. There we go. <laughs> That's more like it. Oh boy. Uh, let's go ahead with a heal. You keep singing. That's okay. All right. Um, meanwhile, let's go ahead and start picking up these items. Got some money. Got some money. Looks like gauntlets of ogre power. More money. Oh, hey! Emotion Hope! Hmm. 
Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Alright, let's see... Shadowed Plate plus three. Upon, closer, upon a closer look at the suit of plate mail, plate armor, its metal seems to be in an incorporeal state, hence its shadowed look. Upon being worn, it will t make the wearer appear as shadowed as the, armor I as the armor is. It will also provide extra protection against missile weapons while the wearer is in its shadowed state. Um, armor class 0, negative 3 versus slashing and missile. Hmm... What are you currently wearing? So... That's functionally the same. That would improve her armor class, but she'd lose 10 hit points, so I think I'll have her stay with that. Uh, full plate armor plus 1... Full plate armor plus one. Robe of the neutral arch magi. Gauntlets of ogre power. Um, who could benefit from those? You could, you could, of course. You could. Slightly. I mean, that would be uh, one more. What are you currently wearing? Oh, yeah, Bracers of Armor Class, AC6. Same thing with you. All right, well, we'll just put those away then. Fast Flail plus two. One extra attack per round. Hmm. That's actually not too bad. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to use that, though. Battle Axe plus three. Fatigue. Don't care. You can grab that. Let's grab the money. Let's grab the potions of extra healing. You can take this uh, potion of magic shielding. All right, let's see. Large shield plus one. Don't care. Gauntlets of weapon expertise. Thaco plus one. Damage plus two. I think everyone has gauntlets or gloves. Weapon skill. Ah, that would actually be better for her. Fifteen to twenty? Oh yeah. I'll take that. Put those away. Long sword of action plus four. Armor class plus one. One extra attack per round. Slashing resistance plus fifteen. I think that's going to be better than what uh, Crow is currently using. Definitely better. Of course, I still want him using the bow. Negative 10 Thacko <laughs> with that. It's a little bit of an overpowered class. Ring of Protection plus 2. Golden Girdle. Don't really care. I've already got one. And Barrier Amulet. Charge abilities. Stone skin and minor globe of invulnerability. Ooh. Not usable by bard, cleric, druid, fighter, monk, paladin, ranger, thief. It's got two charges in it. Still, that's pretty awesome for her, and she doesn't actually have anything equipped right now. Um... We did not get that uh, black ice mirror necklace thingy back, did we? We did not. Oh well. Alright, we've got a Wand of Paralyzation. You can have that. Ring of Free Action. Already got a bunch of those. Braces of Defense, Armor Class 6. Got a bunch of those. Amulet of Metaspell Influence can cast one extra second level wizard spell. It is usable by a bard. 
What is it? Scarab of Defense? Um. Mm, mm. That's better. Mage Robe of Fire Resistance. Fire Resistance plus 20%. Eh. And Staff of Besieging plus 2. Dispel magic once per day. Lower resistance once per day. A favorite among transmuters, this particular staff was created by a wizard named Gulf the Tiny. A dimin diminutive human mage, Gulf didn't want to be struck, stuck in a situation where he would have to rely on his physical abilities. The staff helped him have the upper hand in magical duels. Gulf met his end when he foolishly went looking for Ebenian mushrooms in a grove full of quicklings. That's, um... Uh... Generally not a bad idea to do that alone, or, I mean, just deal with quicklings. Oh, I still love the quicklings and, uh, um... And Pool of Radiance. Oh, they were great. The staff remained among the quicklings for several years until a passing party of adventurers slaughtered the evil fey creatures and took the staff as their own. Well, I guess you can have it then. I am prepared. And final items... Let's see. Boots of Stealth. Move silently, plus 20%. Hide in Shadows, plus 15%. So I guess those could be good for either of them. Yeah, I don't have a cloak for him. Shadowed Studded Leather, plus 4. Uh, piercing Resistance, plus 20%. Slashing Resistance, plus 20%. Fire Resistance, plus 20%. Electrical resistance plus 20%. Move silently plus 30%. Hide in shadows plus 30%. Holy crap. I might have to keep that keep those around just for uh, any situations where uh, she needs some uh, extra stealth. And short sword of backstabbing. The Shadow's Blade. The Shadow's Blade was created to be the perfect assassin's tool. It is highly sought after by any who settle differences with the blade, and many that possess it do not do so for long. Um... It's... just a short sword plus three. Speed factor of zero I don't think is actually legal. I think, uh... well... No, no, that's right. Speed factor of zero is legal. It's negative numbers that are not legal. Um, you can have a zero, you just can't have anything negative. It was I was trying to remember if it was zero or one that's the minimum. Uh, but yeah, I don't see why this is a backstabbing weapon, why it's a short sword of backstabbing. Whatever, I don't care. I'm just going to sell it. I don't need it. Well then, uh, didn't get a whole lot of great stuff, but, uh, we got some decent stuff, I guess. Vita Mortis. Still, I think we might want to go back inside and get some rest again. Especially considering that now we're fatigued. <laughs> hey, Kieran. Uh, I'd like to. I'd like to, some rest. I couldn't help overhearing the conversation you had with the gentleman outside. I just wanted to say that I appreciate you looking after my best interests. What you did went above and beyond our little agreement. You have our gratitude. You have my gr gratitude. Um. I've brought some emotion hope scrolls for you. Good, good. Excuse me for a moment. I don't want to do magic in front of my customers. You protected Kirin from the Host Tower Assassins. 630,000 experience points. Well, a bunch of people level up. We're probably going to get a bit more, uh... For this... There we are. Couldn't quite cheer it up entirely, but it's much improved. And gained an item. I'm interested in lodging for the night. You may not rest when your party is... Oh, come on. On it. 
Lodging for the night. Royal rent. There we go. Oh, you know what? Uh, I forgot to memorize an extra spell here. Let's just get another uh, Mal Melf Sassad arrow. Not that it matters that much. Yes! Well, I guess she is actually the only one who leveled up from that. She's way past it, too. Alright, level up. Uh, an extra fourth level, an extra fifth level. Additional hit points gained one. Lore increased by three. No new uh, proficiency slots. Uh, maybe we'll rest again. Alright, extra fourth level spell. I guess we could go back for uh, Fire Shield, but ideally she's just not going to be getting into combat. Ah, uh, we'll get Ice Storm. Haven't used it. Uh, let's see. Fifth. Oh yeah, I was going to get rid of some of these Sunfires. Um, I could go for a Cloud Kill. What is Oracle? I guess that might be okay. I mean, with all the slots I have, I guess I might as well. There we go. Nothing else. All right. Lodging for the night. Blow a little bit of cash. There we go. All right. Well. Oh. Um. I guess you have it now, don't you? Kieran Nye has applied a permanent hope spell to the sword. While the sword is still very gloomy, it no longer criticizes its wielder, and its thieving abilities can be used more often. Uh, find traps twice per day, knock twice per day. Okay. So I guess I just haven't equipped it, which is why I didn't realize what it was... what was going on. Well, of course, now it's nighttime. Very hmm. I was kind of hoping for it to be daytime. Still not in here, Purvis? in here for a moment. Agreed. At once. Now let's just uh rest once more. I'll just go with peasant. There we go. Now it's daytime. Let's go uh, see if Purvis is back. Actually, let's go see if he's down here. Nope. Very well. Hmm. Well, let's uh, check the uh, the woodsman's hut. I mean, I'm I'm I really want to know what was up with that uh, greater werewolf. Apparently, Jamela is getting too old for this. Uh, okay, you're not here. What the hell is going on? It shall be done. That doesn't help me any. All right, Haley, do you know anything? Probably not, but uh. Hmm. 
Haley, shouldn't you be going home? No, uh I'm not going back home. Mother spends all her time drinking at the inn and never comes home, and I'm not going home either. Oh, actually. Your mother is at home waiting for you, Haley. I think she's going to be around more often. What, really? You mean it? Okay, I'll head home right now. You convinced Haley to go home. Oh, well, there we go. Got 15,000 experience points. Excellent. That That's not where your home is. I honestly do not know what the hell is going on with that greater werewolf. Maybe something broken? Broke? Hello? Do you know anything that's going on? What do you know? Alright, that doesn't help me any. Agreed. What about you? I don't think you're going to tell me anything new, but... I mean, there's got to be something with that greater werewolf. Otherwise, why would it have just popped up like that? At once. Wait a second. Isn't that... That's a body. Um... I did check this, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, I guess the mayor's wife is dead. Oh, right. Or whatever the, his position actually is. Forward. Okay, so is he... Oh, hey, Purvis! I just teleported everyone in. Ah, the saviors of Lonelywood have returned. I'm glad you're here, actually. It saves me the trouble of having to track you down. Purvis, what are you doing here? Just tying up a few loose ends. Disposing of that bumbling wagon maker and his snobbish wife was hardly worth the effort. But in my line of work, it pays to keep things nice and tidy. You killed the Thurlows? Why? I had no choice. They knew too much. If word got out that someone else had fulfilled my contract for me, my reputation as an assassin would be tarnished. It's bad for business, you see. Assassin? I thought you were a gravedigger. Clever disguise, was it not? Although I must say I was grow growing rather tired of the charade. All that digging was giving me blisters, and that stupid girl child. That little brat only knew how close she came to death. One more briar cone lobbed in my direction, and I swear I would have sliced her throat. Why would you pretend to be a grave digger? Because I'm an assassin, you dolt. I needed n I needed to keep a low profile while in town. A proper assassination takes time, you know. There's a lot of planning involved. You have to lie low, gather information on the mark, then strike when they least expect it. I was just about to make my move when the that delegate from the Ten Towns arrived in Lonelywood. That buffoon, Baldemar, mistook him for the assassin hired to kill the barbarian king. The two morons nearly ruined it for me. After the barbarians tortured and killed the delegate, they doubled the guards around the camp, making it next to impossible for me to sneak in and make the kill. Fortunately for me, you arrived and did the job for me. Thank you. Now that Wolfdane is dead and gone, all that remains for me to do is collect my fee. Of course, you understand that I'll have to dispose of you as well. You really think one against six is going to work? Especially when we just destroyed the barbarian king who was possessed by a, um, a dragon spirit? I can't have you running about telling everyone that it was you who killed the barbarian king, now can I? But there is a time and place for everything. I fear now I must take my leave of you. I have a few errands to run before I leave town. But I'll be seeing you soon, I promise. Very soon. Farewell. Hey! Cheat hacks! Oh, come on. We totally could have caught him. Hmm. Of course. Well, that doesn't exactly answer the, uh... The really burning question I have, which is... What the hell was up with the, uh, greater werewolf? Oh, hey, Purvis. You didn't get very far, did you? I'm here. 
Um, have magic missiles. Damn it! Spell cancelled. Cannot target spells on invisible or sanctuaried creatures. Oh, well, uh, how about, um... No good. At I guess once. he is. I guess he left. Purvis attacks Crow. Oh, hello. That's ru. Oh my God. Uh, I guess that sixty-five piercing damage from Purvis. I guess that was a backstab. You know what? Um. All right, that's not right. Let's just do that. So about that whole backstab thing. As you wish. Wanna move back a bit? You can switch to this. Oh, poor little guy. Thirty-six crushing damage from Elmandretta. Wow. That looks like a potion of speed. Let's take that, take the money. And we'll take these items. Okay. I should probably share those out a little bit more. Alright, Cloak of Non-Detection. I suppose that's a thing. Boots of Stealth. Uh, that's the exact same as that, right? Yep. So we just got the second pair of them. Let me guess, short sword of backstabbing? Short sword of backstabbing. Well? Um... Yes. Yay? Onward. That's one loose end tied up. Hmm, pardon me. Uh, it still doesn't explain what the hell happened to, uh... the three brothers. Or, what's his name, the, uh, the woodsman. I, I suspect that the woodsman turned into the uh, werewolf, but I don't know. I mean, the werewolf's body... I mean, I don't think we actually killed the werewolf. I think he just, like, vanished. And I don't think it was purpose. Is that the true sight that ended? Probably. Uh, can we talk to you about this? Okay, that's just, uh, let's see. Don't get anything out of uh, him. I guess we could try talking to uh, the priest, see if he knows anything now. Or was it a she? Eh, whatever. I don't remember. Guys, you want to want to go inside? There we go. Onward. Let's see. What do you know about uh, Lonelywood? Didn't seem to. I think we already did that, so. At once. I really feel like there should be something here. I mean, all the talk about woods made it seem like there was going to be a uh, a map screen in between 
here in the barbarian camp rather than just boom, we're at the barbarian camp. Um, but that Agreed. wasn't the case. Let's just talk to this guy before we uh, call it an episode. Or the, these people down here. There's multiple people down here, I think. What do you know of, uh, okay. It shall be done. There we go. Nope. Alright. I really have no idea what's up with that uh, greater werewolf. Guess we can talk to the people in the inn real fast. Forward. Doesn't seem like anyone knows anything, though. Nope. Alright. Well, um... I don't know what's going on with that, uh, with that werewolf. Um, maybe we'll find out. Maybe it does have some, maybe it has something to do with the, uh, other barbarians, but that doesn't seem right since it's a werewolf and... They're, like, Dragon Clan type things. Whatever. Anyway, uh, we'll call this an episode here. Uh, when we return, um, maybe we'll find out, but I'm feeling that we won't. See you next time, everyone.